Yet, why we're doing all this in the first place. Sometimes the very people we love get lost in the hustle and the bustle of packed schedules, holiday parties, and Christmas musicals. Several years ago, I wrote a Christmas version of 1 Corinthians 13 to help me keep my focus on what Paul deemed most important of all, which is love. So this is what she wrote. If I decorate my house perfectly with lovely bows, strands of twinkling lights, and shining glass balls, but do not show love to my family, I'm just another decorator. If I slave away the kitchen baking dozens of Christmas cookies, preparing a gourmet meal, arranging a beautifully adorned table at mealtime, but do, I do not show love to my family, I'm just another cook. If I work at the soup kitchen, carol at the nursing home, and give all that I have to charity, but I do not show love to my family, it profits me nothing. If I trim the spruce with shimmering angels and crocheted snowflakes, attend a, myri attend a myriad of holiday parties, and sing in the choir's cantata, but do not focus on Christ, I have missed the point. Love stops the cooking to hug a child. Love sets aside the decorating to kiss the husband. Love is kind through harried and though harried and tired. Love doesn't envy another home that has decorated and coordinated Christmas china and table linens. Love doesn't yell at the kids to get out of the way. Love doesn't give only to those who are able to give in return, but rejoices in giving to those who can't. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. Video games will break. Pearl necklaces will be lost. Golf clubs will rust. But giving the gift of love will endure. Can we stand and sing the and, and recite the Lord's Prayer, please? 